Hello, my name is Toshio Fujita, a senior author of this paper. My lab, the University of Tokyo, has been trying to understand the role of epigenetics in thrope-induced hypertension throughout life from the fetus to old age. Today, I'd like to talk about our paper entitled Evident DNA methylation of hypothermic angiotensin receptor in prenatal programmed hypertension, published in JCI Insight. I'd like to acknowledge the participation in this study of Dr. Fumiko Kakami Mori and Dr. Mitsuhiro Nishimoto, who are first and second authors on the paper. The Dutch hunger winter of 1944-45 is an example of one of those periods in human history that has unconsciously served to throw right on an emerging topic in human health today, namely the developmental origin of health and disease to heart. When the baby is born from pregnant women during famine became adults, they had a high rate of obesity, diabetes, and hypertension. At the time, it was unclear why the family offspring acquired this disease, but we now know elderly births, low calorie diet, and stress of during pregnancy are high risk factors for placental insufficiency, and placental insufficiency is accompanied by impaired activity of 11 beta HSD2. Placental 11 beta HSD2 acts a barrier by oxidizing bioactive cortisol to bioinactive cortisol. Decreased 11 beta HSD2 activity caused fetus exposure to excessive glucocorticoids, leading to low birth weight of offspring and eventually to permanent hypertension, obesity, and diabetes in adult life. Once developed, prenatally programmed hypertension seemed to persist indefinitely. In this study, we first, first confirm a low protein diet during pregnancy is accompanied by decreased placental exposure of 11 beta HSD2. Second, we confirm the administration of dexamethasone as a synthetic glucocorticoid to normal pregnant rat led to fetal exposure to excess glucocorticoid. We established through large model of prenatal programmed hypertension to evaluate blood pressure responses to thor loading. The 12 week old offspring of the two model rats were fed a high soil diet for one week. Body weight at one week postpartum was lower in the low protein offspring than in the normal protein offspring. At week 12, However, body weight was higher in the low-protein offspring. Systolic blood pressure did not differ between the two. However, when the rats were fed a high soil diet for seven days, blood pressure increased significantly in the low-protein offspring, but not in the normal protein offspring. At the end of soil loading, mean blood pressure was significantly higher in the low-protein offspring. The offspring of dexamethasone treated mothers also had a higher body weight at 12 weeks and increased blood pressure response to soil loading. Thus, the two raw model offspring exhibited similar phenotypes, namely obesity and salt sensitivity hypertension. According to the possible mechanism of obesity and hypertension, accumulating evidence indicates the parapental nucleus P53 
people you know, in the hypothalamus play essential role in energy balance and blood pressure regulation. It led us to hypothesize exposure to excess glucocorticoid induces prenatal programmed hypertension via abnormal hypothalamic function. To test this hypothesis, we first determined which genes in PBN of a hypothalamus contribute to the hypertension phenotype. Using microarrays, we identified 912 genes that were appropriated more than two-fold in the offspring of dexamethasone treated mothers. Pathway analysis revealed the angiotensin signaling pathway was among several top ranked pathways. Among these genes of uh, angiotensin signaling pathway, accumulating evidence indicate 81A in the PBL plays an important role in the control of sympathetic nerve activity and blood pressure. Then we focused on 81A gene in the PBL. Consistent with a result of microarrays, RT-PCR showed higher expression of ATOA mRNA in the PBL of the low protein and the dexamethasone treated offspring. There has been increasing interest in the role played by epigenetic dynamics in gene expression, notably changes in DNA methylation patterns and histone modification. DNA methylation can permanently modify gene expression without altering the DNA sequence, and one said the changes are persistent and irreversibly. DNA methylation control on the off switch of gene expression. DNA methylation inactivates certain genes, whereas dematuration activates genes. DNA methylation is regulated by DNA methyl transferase DMT1, 3A, and 3B. Among these DNA methyl transferase, DMT3A expression was significantly lower in the low protein offspring. By sulfate sequence analysis revealed, CP site in certain region of the 81A gene more undermaturated in the low protein offspring than in the normal protein offspring. More of chip passes showed DNM3A binding to the 81A gene locus was lower in the PBN of low protein offspring. The dexamethasone treated offspring also showed the changes similar to the low protein offspring. Taken together, DMT3A plays a key role in DNA undermaturation and 81A transcription. Next, using the mouse fetal PBN neuronal cell line, dextamethasone treatment increased 81A mRNA expression concomitant with decreased expression of DNA3A and decreased DNA methylation. Moreover, we transfected DNA3A SI RNA into the cell. Silencing of the DNA3A gene increased 81A mRNA expression to levels similar to those observed after dexamethasone treatment but the level was not further increased by additional treatment of dexamethasone, confirming that DNA3A is involved in dexamethasone-induced upregulation of 81A expression. Taken together, our results show exposure to excess glucocorticoid caused by maternal malnutrition during a pregnancy decreases DNA methylation of 81A by down-regulation of DNMT3A 
which in turn upregulates AT1A expression, leading to throat sensitive hypertension. To clarify the involvement of DNF-T3A in throat sensitive hypertension, we established hypothalamic specific simulacre DM3A knockout mice. DM3A deficient mice showed increased expression of AT1A in the people era, even in the absence of dexamethasone treatment during pregnancy. Notably, high salt diet increased blood pressure in DM3A deficient mice. Thus, chronic deletion of DM3A from the hypothalamic neuron develops salt sensitive hypertension by upregulation of AT1A in the PBL. Finally, we found AT1A deficiency abolished salt induced blood pressure elevation in dexamethasone treated offspring, suggesting AT1A plays a key role in a prenatal programmed salt sensitive hypertension. In conclusion, the learning angiotensin system in the brain, which has emerged as a key contributor to the regulation of blood pressure, plays an important role in prenatal programmed hypertension. Aberrant DNA methylation induced by glucose called excess during pregnancy underlies persistent alterations of AT1A mRNA expression in the hypothalamus, leading to elevated blood pressure salt sensitivity. A greater understanding of epigenetic modulations, including DNA methylation of the last component gene, may shed light on how the system could be targeted to prevent and treat prenatal programmed hypertension. This study clarified the mechanisms of prenatal programmed hypertension and unsolved hardware related disease, and also opened a new avenue of research for investigating the link between obesity and hypertension. Thank you for listening.